a startup that uses AI to make flight schedules more efficient. The company announced its partnership with Odyssey last week. The software can simulate hundreds of flights in a matter of seconds. It aims to plot the most efficient routes while avoiding cancellations and delays. Alaska plans to begin using this technology in the fall. Mount Adams is getting some attention after recent seismic activity. Mm. Scientists are adding some new monitoring gear after six small earthquakes there last month. Mount Adams usually gets an earthquake every two or three years. Right now, it is one of the least observed volcanoes on the Cascade Ridge, so scientists hope the additional gear will improve that. I, I, I often think that people forget how geologically active this area mm -hmm. is, but especially can be. Yeah. Not that I, I don't want that to happen, but I'm just saying it, there really is a lot of potential for mm -hmm. all sorts of, as we say in the scientific world, business. To ha we don't say that. <laughs> we have a lot of clouds, though. We can talk yeah. about that. We have some pockets of sprinkles. That's an official have, term. Yeah, that's official. That one I learned from uh, three years of meteorology school. <laughs> now, if you look here at downtown, you have a lot of clouds. At the moment, wind is only about 10 miles per hour. It's only 59. Average high, by the way, it's come down to 63. This time yesterday was 64. And we got to, what, 75? Now, you have that rain for the coast and some sprinkles at, just to the east of that. We've had some kind of reduced visibility you know, in Everett, say two and a half, three, three and a half, but or I think it now about two and a half miles, just indicates a lot of low level moisture. So it's not going to be hard to squeeze out a few more showers. And so I do think that's going to limit the sun breaks and especially seeing some more rain over Friday Harbor, Bellingham and Port Angeles. But I do think as we talked about, there will be a few more showers from now through the end of the day, even Everett, Seattle, Tacoma. So yeah, I would count on at least some light showers for the afternoon commute, especially closer to five. Tomorrow morning, Morning. Oh, and by the way, if you're hoping to see the aurora tonight, you just saw that, you know, I did a lot of clouds overnight. If you look tomorrow morning at 7, we're mainly dry, but there could be enough low-level moisture for the same sort of thing you're seeing in Everett now. A couple mile visibility, maybe some raindrops. From noon through the end of the day, one more tail end of a system comes through, but into Thursday, we're pretty much done with just some sunshine increasing. How much more rain? I mean, we're talking like a hundredth or two, maybe a few around Tacoma. And then through the overnight and through tomorrow, just the tail end of that system, barely anything as well. So I don't think you're going to see a ton more rain, but you'll see it more consistently in Forks, Port Angeles, Friday Harbor, Bellingham. Maybe you could make the argument, say, like Whidbey Island as well. Today will be in the mid-60s, just call it mostly cloudy. I think you'll see more sun breaks farther south versus north, obviously. And then tomorrow we have a mix of clouds and sun and maybe just a few sprinkles in the morning and again later in the day. Morning clouds, afternoon sun, Thursday, Friday, and through the weekend right now. Wow, yeah. about 70 was sun. It's going to be a blue October weekend. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I love that. But I'm all for it. Yes, thanks, Nick. Okay, how much money does it take to be considered middle class in Washington State? How about $180,000 a year? That's the upper end. A report by Go Banking Rates looked at U.S. Census data on households, which can be one person or many. Because the cost of living and average income vary so widely from state to state, middle class in one state could earn significantly more than another. They found that the lowest end of the middle class in Washington makes a little more than $60,000 per household. But the high end for middle class is over 180000 And the median household income came to just over $90,000 a year. According to their survey, Washington was one of the top 10 states that required the most money to be considered middle class, along with Maryland, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Hawaii, and California. Are you adding to cart? It's a big week for online shopping deals. Amazon started its two-day Prime event at 12.01 this morning. It is promoting discounts on everything from electronics to clothing to home appliances. Here are some of the best deals you can get right now, according to CNN. A 13-inch MacBook Air M3 is about $850. That's more than $300 off. In the kitchen, you can get 40 bucks off a Ninja Creamy Ice Cream Maker. A Dyson Cordless Vacuum typically costs around $750. It's now $570. Still pricey, but a big discount. You can check the price history of most items on Amazon by going to camelcamelcamel.com to check to see if you're really getting a deal. Amazon is not alone in their sales. Other major retailers like Walmart and Target also offering big discounts this week. For Target, shoppers who spend $40 or $50 on certain items get a gift card. One big ticket item, an Instant Pot, more than 50% off. You can snag one for $60. 
Dash cameras have become very popular and they don't have to be complicated or cost a fortune. Here is Shannon Lanier with today's local steals and deals. Trust me, no one ever wants to be involved in an accident, no matter how small it is. But having a dash cam installed in your car means having the evidence you need at your fingertips. Trust me, I was in an accident once and had no proof. The other driver tried to blame me for the accident and it wasn't my fault. But if I had this dash camera, it would have been the perfect evidence I needed, whether I'm driving a car or just witness an accident. Some insurance companies actually provide you with discounts if you have a dash camera installed. Now, for those reasons and so many more is why it's important that I encourage all my family members to also get these. It's a no-brainer. That's why I installed this Minolta dash camera in my car and my wife's car because this camera has a wide-angle view that will capture everything in front of you. It also shoots in HD, so you'll see every detail, like a license plate if you want to report somebody. And it has a G sensor that will record automatically on a loop and it'll even stop recording after a collision so it doesn't accidentally record over the footage. Now, you can screen the footage without stretching or straining your eyes because it has this three inch huge monitor on the back for viewing. The camera is available in both blue and black and it comes with a windshield mount so it makes it super easy to mount. Even I can do it. <laughs> and trust me, you won't want to drive without this thing in your car. Right now, we're offering an exclusive deal on the Minolta dash cam on localsteals.com. Coming up, hockey season is back. This afternoon, the Kraken take the ice for their home opener. What Bowie is doing to help fill the stands at Climate Pledge Arena. Here's a look at Cairo 7's afternoon lineup. 1 p.m. The Talk, 2 p.m. The Bold and the Beautiful, 2.30 is Dr. Phil, 3.30 Judy Justice, and then watch Cairo 7 News live. It's Blackberry Smoke at Emerald Queen Casino Event Center, Thursday, October 24th. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. Blackberry Smoke, a live performance that'll rattle your core. Coming to the Emerald Queen Casino Event Center, Thursday, November 14th, it's war. The world is a ghetto 50th anniversary tour. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. Gotcha. It's okay. We do commercial plumbing and residential electrical, too. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Stop freaking. Stop beating. Go Moving and Storage is the Puget Sound's top-rated moving and storage company, and we've been serving the Seattle area for over a decade. We're your one-stop shop for all your moving and storage needs. And for a limited time, get 10% off any move. Whether you're moving your home or business, we've got you covered. Trust us to make your next move seamless. On the go, moving and storage. Moving you can rely on. With locations in Bellevue, Redmond, and Seattle. Visit our website today. For